Hello everyone, and thank you for joining this video demonstration on how to uninstall the Pure Storage vSphere plugin for the vSphere client. Today we will quickly cover three separate ways that you can complete this task. Each one is relatively quick and simple in nature. So let's get started with our first method, utilizing the Flash Array web interface. Once you have successfully logged in to the Flash Array GUI, on the left hand side you will select Settings, then over to Software, and select the pen and paper icon under the vSphere plugin section. Here you will input the vCenter server details of where you would like to uninstall the plugin from. Once your credentials have been successfully input, you will select Save and wait for the Uninstall Radio button to appear. This may take several moments. You will also note that the version on vCenter will populate. Here we have 4.4.0 installed. To uninstall, we simply click Uninstall. You will allow this to process once again for a few moments, then navigate over to your vCenter server, and you will note that it re requests that you refresh the browser for the uninstallation to be complete. Please note that I am on vCenter 7.0, and it does not require me to log in and log out to process this request. If you are using 6.7 or earlier, you may have to log out and log back in to be prompted for the plugin to be uninstalled. Next, let's discuss how to do this task with PowerShell. Once again, this is a very quick and easy process with just a couple of lines to type. Here we will connect to our vCenter server and hit enter. In my case, I'm not logged in to a, as a user that has access to the vCenter server natively, so it's gonna ask me for a username and password. But if you have a user logged into the Windows system that you are authenticated with in vCenter, it should automatically authenticate you. Once you've been authenticated, it's as simple as typing uninstall PFA vSphere plugin, and you will note which version. In this case, we want to get rid of the HTML version. So we'll say yes, uninstall it, and it will show us that the task has been requested. If you wish to uninstall Flash, it's just as simple, except we change HTML to the word Flash, hit enter, we confirm that we would like it uninstalled, and there you go. Now if we go over to vCenter, once again, it'll ask us to refresh the browser in order for the uninstallation to be completed. And then if we are to navigate to the menu to ensure that it's been uninstalled, you will note that the Pure Storage plugin is no longer listed. Now let's cover our last method. This one is a little more complicated, but still quite easy, and it's using the vCenter Managed Object Browser, also known as the BOM. So here you will go to your vCenter server slash mob and log in. Then you will select Content, navigate to Extension Manager, and select More if needs be. At the very bottom you will note com.purestorage.purestoragedhtml, which is our HTML plugin. We will highlight and copy this string so that we can input it for our next step. We'll select back, now go to the bottom, select unregister extension, paste our string in here, and select invoke method. We will now navigate back to vCenter server and confirm that it's been uninstalled. Here, once again, we can confirm it has. We refresh the browser ensure that the plugin is no longer listed and you're all set. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this was informative and helps you learn how to uninstall the Pure Storage vSphere client plugin.